Um, next feature analyst was used to split out the vegetation class. So with this layer highlighted, I just went and went to feature analyst, vector tools, split out classes, selected vegetation, named that output, and split out that layer. So that gives us the split out vegetation layer in the table of contents. So now we're going to reclassify everything within this shapefile into one of three classes, either grass, trees, or dead and dormant vegetation. Those seem like logical classes to me, just to show what feature analysts could do. So once I had these tr three training sets drawn, I went in and combined those into a, multi a new multi-class training set by selecting these layers, again going to Vector Tools, Prepare Multi-Class Input Layer, clicking OK, naming the output, which is Multi-Class in the Table of Contents, and clicking Save. I'm going to cancel out of it. Next, I just uh, highlighted that layer in the Table of Contents, um, because I want to act upon that layer with Feature Analyst. And I open the Setup Learning Parameters. And in this extraction, I used resample factor of two. So feature analyst is resampling this color infrared image on the fly and at a factor of two so it's going to have a one foot resolution uh, during the extraction. I used an input representation of a Manhattan non so this is, these, this is non raster cells by non raster cells, sort of a square really. This will give you an idea of how big the input rep was on the training sets themselves. As far as masking, I selected the split out vegetation layer as a region of interest. So now, so we're just focusing our extraction on the region of interest. And then learning options, I uh, checked wall-to-wall uh, -wall classification. So every pixel in this split out vegetation layer is going to be classified into either grass, trees, or dead and dormant vegetation. Then I ran this extraction by using the one button learning option. I named the output, which in this case is going to be multi-class learn. And these are the results. And you can see it only classified the areas within that split out shapefile and uh, the dominant uh, classification is going to be the dead and dormant but let's take a look at a couple of regions here or a region here that has so this would the orange would correspond with the trees the, the living trees that had had growing leaves on them and we'll make those hollow so we can see through so you can see how the the red tree vegetation uh, was captured really well by feature analyst right up to the boundaries maybe a little you know outside the boundaries of them but you know pretty pretty darn close and here's an area of lawn I'll just turn it all on and off so you can see how feature analyst did did really well at uh, picking out this area of healthy lawn and you know, some of these shadows were classified as dead dormant vegetation, which in this case would be, you know, shadows are always an issue, so there's various ways to deal with them. Um, but again, it did a good job with the uh, the grass and the the dead dormant vegetation. I'd say the the accuracy of feature analysis is in the 90 95 percent range in this image. Uh, there'd be some hand editing that needs to be done, which is always the case. It's not going to be a perfect classification. But now we have this this layer. One last thing I did was I went and smoothed this layer. So feature analyst, it's when it classifies, it classifies each pixel. So you can see the the resulting vector shape file is uh, you know retains those. They follow the the raster cells. So we I smooth this layer by first selecting this. Uh, result layer in the table of contents, then going to feature analyst, post processing, smooth features, and I used a Bezier smooth to give a uh, hand drawn appearance. So this just rearranges the vertices. 
So when I turn this smooth layer on, you can see how it's it's got more of a hand-drawn appearance, and it actually shrinks the uh, tree layer, uh, the tree polygons, in just a bit to make them a bit more accurate.